Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have my grandma's old Better Homes and Gardens cookbook, and we're gonna cook some weird old vintage food. All right, if you're new here, my name is Claire. Welcome, come on in. This is actually a series, so thank you for uh, joining us. Um, I have this cookbook. It is a Better Homes and Gardens cookbook. It is from the year 1949. It was my grandmother's. She like covered it in this um, contact paper. And basically from the 40s through about the 70s, uh, she would cut out recipes from uh, Better Homes and Gardens magazines and like tuck them in here. And it's really just been a very interesting treasure trove of recipes. So this is actually my fourth recipe out of this book. I will leave a playlist down below where you can find the other three recipes. They range from interesting but delicious, classic and yummy and sweet, to why would someone make this and eat it? So um, go ahead and check that out if you like this. And yeah, I thought today, I went in looking and I was thinking I wanted something that could be delicious, that has the potential to be delicious but seems weird. So I did a little searching and I think I found um, the perfect one. All right, here we have the Jiffy Lima Bake. No complicated measuring or cooking. It's a fast and easy casserole. That is what it's supposed to look like. And this page came from a 1951 Better Homes and Gardens magazine and it was submitted by Mrs. Jeanette Heim from Madison, Wisconsin. So, yeah, let's make this a uh, wiener lima bean casserole. It could be good though, it could be good. All right, so for this recipe, we need frozen lima beans. Um, it also calls for salt, a can of cream of mushroom soup, um, it also calls for three wieners. I have selected meatless hot dogs to use as my wiener. Um, I really enjoy these, I think they're delicious, so I decided, since it is something I enjoy, that this would be a fine substitute. Um, but I suppose choose whatever wiener you love. I thought it was rather funny that uh, it calls for half a clove of garlic. That is the least amount of garlic and it shocks me. So I normally keep a jar of minced garlic in the fridge and I went to grab it and I don't have any. However, half a clove of garlic is such a small amount of garlic that I think it's probably okay um, to use garlic powder as a substitute. I think it probably won't alter the flavor. It might even be more garlicky if I'm honest because man, who cooks with half a clove of garlic? I will say Jeanette was not really into um, seasoning or spices. There's no pepper in this either. Um, but there is a little bit of salt, an eighth, an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Um, so there's your spices right there. Uh, so yeah, let's get going. All right, step one, cook lima beans and garlic covered in a half cup of boiling water until tender. All right, half a cup. That doesn't seem like a lot of water, but I trust you, girl, it's fine. Also, they only had 16 ounce bags of lima beans um, instead of 10 ounce. Also, these are baby lima beans, but this was literally the only bag at the entire grocery store of lima beans. So, I went with it. So we're just gonna use, you know, not the whole bag. All right. Mm. That's about 10 ounces, we'll say. Now we're going to add our our garlic, half a clove worth, which I've decided is going to be half a teaspoon. And now we cover until tender. Oh wow, this doesn't fit this. Jesus. Now we cover. <laughs> There we go. For, a, I guess, a couple minutes till it's tender. There's no way these aren't tender now, right? How many minutes do you suppose it takes? I guess I'll just eat one. Not yet. A couple more minutes. 
All right, our uh, lima beans are nice and tender. I'm gonna go ahead and drain them. All right, I'm gonna cut up my wieners now. Um, the directions they say to like slice them and mix them in, but definitely the photo has um, has a like a, a decoration of wieners on the top. So you know we gotta get down on that. I went with the jumbo ones because I feel like, you know, if this serves four people, you know, we need some, I, I doubt they're talking about like mini Franks or whatever. Vienna sausages, oh, we lost one. All right, next the recipe calls for a one quart casserole. The smallest I have is two quarts, so I know it's gonna be like a little shallow in here, but that's all I've got. I also think it's interesting that this recipe calls for the casserole dish to be greased, which is kind of strange, I, I guess, I don't know. Um, my instinct, of course, is just to throw a little Pam in there, but that wasn't around in 1951, so we're gonna use butter. I think probably um, my grandmother probably would have used lard or, you know, whatever kind of like fat she had hanging around, um, but butter's what I got, so I think that's the most accurate um, thing to use in this situation. All right, it's time to mix all the things. I'm gonna throw in most of the wieners. What? Why? Is there a difference between a wiener and a frank? Or is it just a regional thing? I don't know. Let me know, sound off in the comments if you have opinions on wiener versus frank. I could just Google it, anyway. Now, of course, it's time for the whole can of cream of mushroom. And least we forget our eighth of a teaspoon of salt. This is feeling like a struggle meal. I mean, it shouldn't, but it does. Yum. All right, into the casserole dish. I mean, I guess uh, Mrs. Jeanette was right about the ease at which this recipe came together. There was no difficult measuring. All right, now we need to make it beautiful because of course I need to impress my husband, right? I mean, it looks just like the picture. Now I'm going to pop it in a moderate oven, which is language I've heard in a lot of these recipes. In parentheses, they wrote 350 degrees. So a moderate temperature, apparently, for 25 minutes, uncovered. So all the flavors can blend together. All right, there she is. You know, it smells kind of good. It smells a little like salty and really it's the the hot dogs, the wieners that are making it smell good. I would also like to note that it really looks like the picture. Although they put like some little herbs in the middle of theirs. Hold on, just throw a little dried basil right in the center. Oh, that looks good. Do you want to try some, Fox? That? No, of what this, it? it's wiener bean casserole. Yeah. What's it called? Jiffy Lima Bake. You don't want any? No. Oh, okay. I understand. <gasps> Guess it's time to plate this up for my beautiful husband. Honey, I baked you something. Thanks, 50's wife. This is a Jiffy Lima Bake. What's it, what makes it Jiffy? Um, it's fast to put together, like put uh, it together it, it, in, a in a jiffy. jiffy. I'm getting notes of hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's kinda hot. Dog. It's not that bad. It's not that good either. <laughs> Yeah, I think the beans are a little waxy. I think that 
this wouldn't be terrible with a different type of bean. But I think the lima beans are a little out of place. Yeah. I mean, it's not heinous. I mean, I'll pick out the hot dog chunks. Those are good. Or actually, the recipe calls for wieners, specifically. Uh. But I like the idea. It's just the, the lima beans are too waxy. I don't think I've ever had a lima bean that I've ever liked. Honestly, me neither. Or I don't know, even like another vegetable. Like, what if you swapped it with like broccoli? Broccoli would be fun. And then the cream of mushroom soup and the wieners. Yeah. That would be I think that would be good. Too bad we can't let Jeanette from 1951 know. All she had to do was swap her vegetable and it would have been better. I, somehow I knew this recipe was from the 50s. <laughs> All right, you guys, that was my 1950s recipe for today. Of course, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. How do you eat lima beans? Do you eat lima beans? Is that a thing? No wonder there was only one frozen bag left in the entire store. It's probably been there for years. <laughs> anyway, I'd love to hear um, your thoughts on this recipe and if you have made anything similar or from your childhood or your grandmother or anything like that, I'd love to hear it. And of course, check out those other videos if you haven't already. Come back for more of this style of content. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.